another shave, another Tuesday shave, British Artisan shave. As we're doing uh, August of British Artisans with soaps and creams. And today's cream, soap, is a bearskin and tunic. Loch Lomond. And it's lavender, bergamot and vetiver. And it comes in at 100 grams. If you can see that, I think that's 3.5 ounces, I think, thereabouts. Uh, there's the ingredients, guys, if you want to pause it. There you go. I'll show the pour. It's a hard soap, fairly hard. What comes straight away is the vetiver. We've had a doubt. Bergamot in the background. I'm not getting so much uh, lavender. Not so much. It's mossy almost. That'd be the vetiver. It's nice. It's um, it's quite a dark scent. It's more of an autumn winter scent. A warm scent. It's nice. I love it. That's mine. But inside my Captain's Choice bottle, I've got a sample that was sent to me by Sean Gillen. So thank you very much, Sean. Right. <coughs> What else are we using? Razor. Razor! Razor is my Christopher Bradley calf. And I'm using my new plate, my new open comb C plate, as you can see there. 3.5 inch handle. And I believe the blade gap is uh, 0.85, I think. And it's got the wide body head cap. And we'll load the blade. Down, wash it. Don't want to lose the wash it. And there it is, guys. C plate. You can see. Ah, if you can see. Right, inside there today, a blade from another good friend of the channel, Sean Arter. He sent me a couple of blades with the um, with the AP Shenko brush and um, a soap. And it's a Jura Blade Sharp High Chromium, is that? Yeah, High Chromium. And we're using that for the first use from Sweden. I'm assuming it's Swedish steel, I don't know. Comes double wrapped. And there it is, guys. So we shall load that in the calf. Looking forward to trying this place. I want to try the open comb for a while now. No overhang with this head cap, otherwise it would be slightly over, overhang. I'll see if I can uh, show you. Make sure that's nice and tight. As you can see, no overhang. But if you look on that side, if I didn't have the wide body, if I can get it to focus, you would have the, the overhang. Blade alignment. Looks good. I wouldn't expect anything else from Curve. Right, brush. Brush we're using. I still don't know who sent these two brushes. They sent this one and this one. I still don't know who sent them. I've got an I think I know how they got my address though. My mistake. Right. <laughs> brush is the Yaki 24mm cashmere knot Janus. Hence the two sides, and it's a Roman god, two-faced Roman god. It's got the coin in. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. I'm going to wet that now. And then I'm going to start bothering. This, by the way, was uh, named by Six Solo. So if you don't know who Six Solo is, check out his channel. I'll leave a link in the... Uh, in the description, yeah, he named it. One, two, three, flicks of the brush. So it's wet but not dripping. And I've got some, obviously, in my Captain's Choice bowl. And this is a, a thirsty soap as well. And it's a British artisan, his name's Chris. I'm not sure where he's based. I haven't done any research, I haven't had time. And I think he launched in 2019, I think. I'm pretty sure he did. And he's got a YouTube channel called Bearskin and Tunic. And I'll leave a link in 
the description for his channel as well if you want to check it out. It's up to you. <laughs> Happy to help. So how are you guys doing? Are you okay? I hope you're okay guys. I hope you, your week started good. I hope you had a great weekend. Yeah, this is thirsty. Looking good though. Oh yeah. It, I would put the scent strength to around about five or six to my nose. Somebody might be different, so I can hardly smell it. But that's because we're all individuals. I'm going to leave that tap running a little bit. So I'm just going to get the sheen on it. Yeah, I hope you're okay. And thank you so much for the new subscribers. I've had quite a few. Thank you so much. Thank you for jumping on board. The Madhouse. And if you're new to the channel as well and you've just tuned in, welcome. Hit the subscribe button. Give a like. And leave a comment. This is looking, I put far too much in the bowl. I always do. I was getting good at one, at one stage. And it's looking really good. But this is, uh, this is exploding guys. Just giving it, just, just the tips. I haven't pressed down on the, um, on the brush, to splay the brush. This is purely just on the tips. And that is looking good, I'm going to go with that, that is looking excellent. I'll turn the tap off now. I'll moisture up. Wet the mush. Missed it. Let's get a lather in. You can always add more water if you need to. Let's paint it on. Oh, this glows in the dark as well, by the way. Why we need a glow in the dark brush, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna drop it in the dark. But hey, it's a nice novelty. Add a tad more water to that. Just wet the tips under the tap, that's better. I'll leak it, I'll leak, I'll leak, I'll have a leak. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description as well for Chris's Bearskin and Tunic website as well. I think he only does three cents. But he only did the soaps. And um, he's got the uh, matching splashes now. And the way he come about this scent was at his sister's wedding on the edge of Loch Lomond. He came up with the scent. It's a nice scent. If you go on the website, it gives um, a description of the soap and, everything and how he came by. I'm not gonna go through the soaps. Get a bit of heat in the razor. I'll let you look for yourselves. I don't like explaining too much because it takes the fun out of browsing and looking and researching and everything. Here we go guys, Christopher Bradley Carve, the brass, and we're using the Jura Sharp, is it the Jura Sharp? Jura Blade, sorry, Sharp. First use, here we go. Now in a C plate on the, uh, On the SB plate, I can't feel the blade. Obviously with the open comb, I can feel the blade because there's more blade ex exposure. I always go to say exposure. Here we go, exposure. And I can certainly feel it on this. And I love blade feel. Now the idea of the combs for any of you guys that don't know 
is to allow more soap or cream to glide through the comb to the blade and in between the blade and the skin for the cushion. And also, it helps lift the hairs, I believe. I can certainly feel the, uh, the blade. It's not a bad blade, that sure. Nice. I can certainly get a bit of, uh, or hear a bit of uh, blade. I was going to say blade chatter. There's no blade chatter. Can't you tell I'm tired when I'll get into that. <laughs> I haven't stopped. I'm off work on holiday and I haven't stopped. Feedback, noise feedback, bloody blade chatter. Nice cushion with the soap. Still not getting much lavender through, I'm getting more vetiver and burger, bergamot. But it's very nice. Wow. Look in the place. The blade, for me, for my skin, isn't the smoothest. But it's certainly doing its job. I don't mind that so much. Sometimes I, I, I know it's all about being enjoy the shave and everything but sometimes if a blade is a little bit rough but it's sharp and doing its job personally i don't mind a lot of people don't they just want a completely smooth shave and not feel all that but if i didn't like the blade or i felt uncomfortable it comes straight out but then again if I'm reviewing a blade, but I can, I can only give you my opinion what it's like on my skin, because everybody's skin's different. This blade might be absolutely a load of rubbish for me, but for Sean and everybody else that tries it, it could be fantastic. Here we go, guys. Across the growth. And that's what I love about this hobby, about everybody being different. The choice we have is trying different things. There's so many things out there to choose. It's unbelievable. It's fantastic. My plans today. I've got a busy day, guys. I have to, I've got to empty two wardrobes. so I can move them, make them lighter. Partly empty a bedroom. I've got to lay a carpet, a new carpet, put the carpets up yesterday, me and Mrs. B. Then I have to dismantle a bed, a big double bed. Move it into the uh, spare room where I've laid the carpet. So I have to rebuild it. I have to rebuild a new bed in my and Mrs. B's main bedroom. Master bedroom. Then, 
in Mrs B's studio in the other spare room, the small box room we call it. Got me for a studio desk and things and everything. And drawers and that. I've got to lay another carpet and move everything back in. So that's my day guys. That is my day. That's what I'm doing today. And then after all that, I'll be settling down, watching a bit of YouTube, a few ciders, and deciding my next shave, what I'm going to use. Which I'm looking forward to. Because I'll be using wow, another one of Jay's razors on the next shave. Jay Fett kindly sent me um, five razors to try. So I'll be using another one of his and a blade that he recommends or that he likes. Glad we got that one sorted out, Jay. <laughs> I could have used any one of them blades. Not specific. Right, let's get on with it. And you new subscribers, thank you so much. But if you're new on board and you've not entered the 800 subscriber giveaway, check out my shave. I think it's a few videos back. There. It's two or three. It's the Phoenix and Bow Spitfire shave. Hashtag 800. I'll leave the instructions in the description to enter the giveaway. When does that close? A week. A week today that closes. So the draw will be a week today. So there'll be two two videos on that day. Here we go, guys. Against the Grove. Chris with Bradley Carve. You're a blade sharp for the first use. Thank you, Sean. And I am enjoying this open comb plate. I want a few of you as well. A few were asking when the uh, head shaves are starting again. I was hoping. To start the head shaves again this past weekend gone. Life got in the way again. But I have healed up as far as I know. So the head shaves will be starting this week again. I need to get rid of this, it's doing me out here. Wow. The feel of this place I'm just guiding it and let the blade do its job. Feels amazing. But like I said, it's not the smoothest of blades for me. I would not not get any. Because it's doing a good job. Great for getting up to the nostrils. This plate be an open comb. It's going to add a bit of water.
That's me over shaving, that is. Wow. Yeah, it's me over shaving, I felt it. Gotta go for that BBS on the lip. Right, here we go for the pickups. You just feel it, just picking up the, the stragglers. It's great. Always looks worse than what it is, guys. That's nice. That is nice. It's called water rinse. Alan Block. I'm going to go there first. It's not too bad. I thought I'd feel that more. I've got a feel I'm going to feel it in the neck though. To be honest with you. My neck's been sensitive the last few shades, but I've had BBS. No, it's not bad. I actually thought I'd get a bit of zing off that. It's mild. The zing's there, but it's mild. Don't get it in your mouth, guys. It tastes bloody awful. First towel, thanks, Mrs. B. Time's getting on. And don't forget, guys, if you have a shopping at shaving time as well, use my code CB4098 or 89. 40890 because I'll leave it in the description. Get 10% off everything you buy. We'll check it out. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. I'm gonna go with the aftershave. Avon. This was a gift of the um, of the father-in-law and it's wilderness. And it's a beautiful vetiver scent. It's absolutely, it surprised me. You know, with it being Avon, women stuff mainly, innit? But I'll tell you what, I've got two Avon. After shaves now, thank you to the father-in-law. Oh wow, that's a fantastic vetiver scent. And they're beautiful. I've got that in the white musk. So thanks, Ron. Thanks, Sean, for the blade. Thanks, Sean, for the soap. To so Sean, shave. Too many S's. <laughs> and we'll go with Arco Fresh for the balm. There's a bit of citrus in this, a bit of lime. And I, I just thought it'd go well with the best of it. Well, you thought I was going to say it then, didn't you? <sighs> didn't have to say it. And that's it, guys. That's the shave. Thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoyed that. Right.
hopefully in the week there'll be a head shave there'll be a normal shave on Friday um, another British artisan one of Jay's razors thank you so much Jay and that's it the, the, the C plate open comb where are the trees apart from that little bit and that was my fault the bearskin and tunic Lock Lamone. Take a look, it's only got the three cents, but it's got matching splashes as well. Good performance, good cushion, and a reasonable price as well. So check him out. Bearskin being the uh, the hat there of the soldier, it's the Queen's Guards um, who guard the Queen outside Buckingham Palace, and the tunic being the red coat, in case you didn't know. <laughs> right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for. for taking the time to watch the videos again new subscribers hit that subscribe button and thanks for jumping on board it's been great <laughs> have a fantastic rest of the week i'll see you in the week for the head shave and i'll see you on friday for the uh, the british artisan shave take care guys stay safe and have fun bye for now